Johann Rudolf Glauber began as a pharmacist. However, he soon changed his line of work and became an alchemist. Hold on, I didn't tell you what alchemists do for a living. Yeah, it's a job, quite a job. So in olden days, scientists believed that everything, like everything, is made up of water, air, earth, fire. Other stuff was just a blend or a mix of these four. So the reasoning then was that since everything was a mixture of these four elements, we should be able to turn anything into anything else by just tweaking the ingredients. The gold craze, or what we call alchemy, was born. So basically, an alchemist is someone who tries to convert something into gold. This hopeless quest was taken up in Persia by Jabir and Al-Razi who invented all sorts of useful lab equipment and procedures in this process. So there's a good news and a bad news. Bad news first. The bad news was that they couldn't well, you know, create gold. But the good news was that you can make tremendous practical progress even with stupid ideas. They perfected distillation, filtration, titration. They advanced glass making, metallurgy, explosive corrosives. He even invented fortified wine. In fact, the German alchemist Hennig Brand was trying to make gold from the human body. You know where he hit upon the idea? The idea he hit upon was what he thought the most obvious answer to his problem. Any guesses? Urine. Urine is gold in color and could probably contain gold in it. He tried to make gold by distilling 60 buckets of urine. Now don't ask me where he got that from, I don't know. At the end, however, he couldn't find gold, but he discovered phosphorus. Phosphorus is also found inside you, by the way, in bones and stuff. Anyway, continuing with our acid-based story, living in Amsterdam, Glauber ran many experiments concerning acids and alkalis, which were not yet distinctly defined. About one of his experiments, he had something to say. Let's read what he had to say. Oh my, this is like really fragile. Let's read what he had to say. When potassium carbonate is added to nitric acid, the spiritus, acidus and liquor fixes. What have they done? They have slain each other in a violent, effervescent reaction. Whoa, a lot of things happening there. 